political sphere after Rahul Gandhi secured landslide victories in both Rai Bareilly and Vyanad Lok Sabha constituencies by over 3 lakh votes. Now the Congress leader is all set to answer a very key question. Which seat will he forego? Rahul Gandhi won the Rai Bareilly Lok Sabha seat by a margin of 3,90,030 votes, while his margin of victory in Vyanad was 3,64,422 votes. Now, the Rai Bareilly Lok Sabha constituency has been uh, held by the Congress since 1999. It was Sonia Gandhi's bastion till, 20, uh, nine, till 2024, in fact, after uh, she, in fact, uh, took membership in the Rajya Sabha. There is, of course, intense speculation about which seat uh, Rahul Gandhi will retain this year. Rahul Gandhi has uh, contested once again from Vyanad after his victory last time as well and uh, retained this seat uh, with a massive margin as well. Meanwhile, he stated that he is currently in a dilemma as to which seat uh, should he choose to forego. But uh, viewers, there is also speculation around Priyanka Gandhi, whether she will be contesting one of the seats that Rahul Gandhi uh, will vacate. Uh, to give us more with regards to what is happening uh, and what decisions will be made uh, by the Congress High Command, my colleague Anand Singh is joining us on the broadcast. Anand, uh, uh, several sources uh, and source-based news has been circulating around. There are certain uh, murmurs going on that Rahul Gandhi is likely to vacate Vyanad. Uh, um, please take our viewers uh, through what are your sources telling you. Yeah, uh, once the Rahul Gandhi won from both the seats of Rai Bareilly and Vyanad because the People of Representations Act allow a candidate to contest from two seats. However, it also gives the time of 14 days to decide which seat he wants to retain. So looking at the victory in the from both the seats of Rai Bareilly in Uttar Pradesh and uh, Kerala's Vyanad that he has represented from 90, 2019 to 2024 after his defeat in uh, Uttar Pradesh Amiti. So, a very pertinent question has been raised that whether Rahul Gandhi will be uh, retaining the seat of Rai Bareilly that is considered a family or a seat for the Gandhi family as they have been contesting there since 1952 whether it was Feroz Gandhi and several of the Gandhi family members like uh, Sonia Gandhi, Indra Gandhi and uh, now Rahul Gandhi. So these are the things, the facts that the Congress leader was mentioned during the CWC meet and through our sources we have learnt that uh, Rahul Gandhi is going to retain the seat of Rai Bareilly as this was the seat which was earlier represented for the four consecutive terms by ECPP chairperson Sonia Gandhi and uh, she also handed him over the bastion of Rai Bareilly during the 2024 Lok Sabha elections after she went to Raj Sabha from Rajasthan. So uh, even while addressing the public meeting there in Rai Bareilly, Sonia Gandhi has mentioned that how she was handing her son to the people of Rai Bareilly and that they need to take care of him. So they ensured his victory by a huge margin of over 3,90,000 votes to uh, BJP's Dinesh Pratap Singh. So these were the facts that were mentioned to Rahul Gandhi during the CWC meeting. Mm. He, however, remained tight-lipped. But through our sources, we are coming to know that Rahul Gandhi is going to retain the Rai Bareilly seat as uh, uh, this is the family bastion and uh, the party uh, which was reduced to one seat in 2019 Lok Sabha elections in Uttar Pradesh, which is a very political sensitive state and it is uh, the state which sends maximum Lok Sabha MPs to uh, parliament uh, that is 80. So the party has done fairly well in this Lok Sabha elections over there as uh, it uh, rose from one seat that was in 2019 to six seats out of the 17 seats it contested in coalition there in Uttar Pradesh. So looking at the facts that the, in North India the Congress needs to emerge back and need to get the vote bank, uh, the voters back to its party fold, the mm. party needs to focus on in Hindi belt, especially the states of Uttar Pradesh and Bihar and several others. So these are the things that has been mentioned before Rahul Gandhi 
to take the fight in the Hindi belt where the BJP is now a very dominant force. He Indeed, needs to retain and, and the seat of Raiburi. Whereas Gandhi, during the seat of uh, Anand, meeting, there are of course uh, murmurs regarding uh, Priyanka Gandhi making her poll debut as well. Uh, we all know that she has been uh, Congress uh, in charge of Uttar Pradesh. She's focused on Uttar Pradesh for a very, very long period of time. And uh, it seems that she wants to take this momentum uh, from uh, the, uh, the increase in seats from one to six. She wants to take it forward. Uh, so will she be making her poll debut? What are your sources telling you? Yeah, uh, we spoke to several of the sources in the Congress party and they said that Priyanka Gandhi is yet not keen to contest from any of the Lok Sabha seat and uh, even the offer for her was to contest from Vainar Lok Sabha seat which Rahul Gandhi will be leaving as the party leaders have been demanding that uh, Rahul Gandhi uh, if in case he leaves this, decides to leave the seat of Vainar then one of the Gandhi family members should take up that seat. However, Priyanka Gandhi has not contested in this Lok Sabha election citing that all three members of the Gandhi family entering parliament would not give a very good message to the public and then the uh, issue of dynastic politics will be raised and she will be targeted on that part. So uh, we have learned from our sources that Priyanka Gandhi is, has yet not decided, she is not keen to contest the bipolar elections. However, an official decision has to be made by her and even if we talk about the campaigning, the way in which she campaigned during the Lok Sabha election, we have seen how after 2019 Lok Sabha election, when she made her political debut, uh, when she was made the UP General Secretary in charge for the Eastern Uttar Pradesh in February 20, January 2019. And since then, she has been holding parlays of meeting with the party leaders, party workers over there, and she has been trying to rejuvenate the party cadres there at the ground level. So the result was visible uh, this time as in 2022 20, assembly elections, it was not visible when she took the charge of the election over there and she decided to give 40% seats to the women candidates there under the slogan of Ladki Hun Lad Sakti Hun. But that could not materialize as the party was reduced to only one or two seats in the assembly polls. So these are the facts that the Congress is considering and looking at the way in which she has campaigned, especially in this Lok Sabha election where she has uh, maintained a very dignified campaign during the campaign trails when she targeted the BJP and especially Prime Minister Modi, whenever they tried to hit the Congress back uh, on the Gandhi family or any other attacks, they were making personal attacks on the Gandhi family. So she was very uh, humble in while hitting out at the BJP. So these are the things that the people are saying that uh, she will be focusing on uh, Uttar Pradesh as the party has gained momentum after uh, 2009 when it has won uh, nine seats in the state uh, mm. uh, when uh, the Congress was almost down in the very politically sensitive state. So uh, Priyanka Gandhi has, we have also seen that last year she has resigned from the post of uh, UP in charge, but she is holding the post of general secretary in the party. However, she is not having any portfolio as of now in the party, which state she will be looking after. But the looking at the way in which her campaigns are going, as we have also seen in uh, Himachal Pradesh last year, last to last year, and then in uh, Karnataka and Telangana. So the kind of campaigning that she runs against the BJP is helping her a lot. And even there are demand from the party workers that she must make a political debut as several of the leaders have urged her to come to parliament and speak uh, for the people of the country. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.